Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Adam here with Indy Farm Life. Today we're going to kick off a bit of a science experiment. We're going to talk about how fast field corn grows. And in this case, like 95% of the corn in the Midwest, this is dent corn. And let me preface this video with, I am not an expert. Don't work for one of the big seed manufacturers like DeKalb or Pioneer. I did not go to Purdue University and I'm not a farmer. And so if you're Mark Cuban, you might say, and for those three reasons, I'm out. However, I did grow up in a rural community with a fair amount of friends who were farmers, and I feel as though I might have a little bit more knowledge than the average Joe. If I'm wrong, comment below. But what I do know is that the current lighting out here makes me look like I'm in the witness protection program, and I'm not gonna fix it. You get what you get. And so this field right here in front of us is 130 acres of corn. And I said dent corn earlier, which is a type of corn principally used for livestock feed and ethanol production now corn's in about every product known to man but those are the two main uses of this corn 130 acres of corn it's been in the ground for about 25 days i believe and as you can see in front of us we've already got some sprouts emerging now i don't know exactly what brand this corn is but typically this corn will begin sprouting in about 18 to 21 days when you have soil temperatures between 50 and 55 degrees or possibly in 8 to 10 days if the soil is 60 to 65. It's definitely been on the cooler side and like I said this is 25 days in and we are certainly at the back end of that window of time. Now they drop down low you can begin seeing a little bit more green shoots and here is an early morning shot and the sunlight allows you to see the sprouts much more clearly. It's like washing your car to make it rain. If I try to shoot in any farm life video, I get air traffic. Most of these are about three inches or so. So this is very early on in the growing season. Like I said, it hasn't been extremely warm. We kind of had the eight minutes of early spring in April and then it got cold again. However, we have had a decent amount of moisture. As you can see the field here, especially in these low spots, more shaded spots are still pretty damp and even right here in front of me where the sun's on it still has a fair amount of moisture content so I would imagine if this weather pattern keeps up that we should see a pretty good crop this year so two to three inches 25 days in just take a walk along the field here so I think for this video series what my plan will be is to kind of document the height over the coming weeks shoot a video and check back in around the 4th of July just to ensure that we're knee high by the 4th which is the ever so known benchmark of field corn. And I'd like to also, if you guys out there who have corn fields by you, let's talk about the differences between growth heights here in central Indiana and what I'm seeing around here and where you are in the world. You know, it's not uncommon to drive from one field to the next and see two foot height differences, but it'd also be interesting just to see across the country how things are panning out. Also, if any of you guys have an eye for attention to detail and you think that this looks like way more than 130 acres behind me, because there's a little graveled lane out here that separates two fields and just beyond that lane is another 130 acres of beans so when you look that way it looks a whole lot bigger than 130 acres i say that like i wouldn't love to have 130 acres i also apologize if you can't hear me very well and the wind is uh, a bit much i got the wind sock on there but it's quite windy today that's one thing that will definitely change once this corn is seven feet tall the amount of wind that comes through here toward the back of our property is greatly diminished so if you tuned into this video to figure out exactly how fast corn grows, well, you don't have your answer yet. But if you hit that subscribe button, come back and see me. In the coming weeks, we'll let you know. All right, guys, comment below. Are you seeing corn pop up in your neck of the woods yet? And if so, when was it? Let's find out what the earliest one was. Here we are in the middle of May, and this has been up for probably three or four days. So call it May 5th by the time we saw corn shooting up. Is that going to take the cake? Time will tell. See you guys next time. 